Hey guys, welcome back to my next book preview video. This week we have Dong Ho Kim's character drawing book. Uh, you may be able to tell from looking at this, it is not in English. So a quick look at the front and back there. This is a Korean book. So if we get straight into this, I have tried to translate the contents here. Um, so assuming my app was right, we have drawing the human head, anatomy and proportion, Chapter 3 is different body types, and chapter 4 and 5, it didn't translate so well from this page, um, but it basically said something like, let's become skilled in expressing strings in everyday drawings, which I don't think is technically correct, but we'll see what it is when we get to it. And also the last one said character connections. So, first of all, we're on to the face drawing, or the, you know, constructing the human head section. Now, I've only just got this book through in the post, so this is my first time looking through it, other than, you know, a quick glance with a few translations just to check my app was working. But I have been after this book for a very long time, and a few people have actually been commenting recently and asking me to try and get hold of this and preview it on camera because it's, you know, there's not a lot of information about it online. Um, I'm, not, I'm not showing every page, by the way. I'm skipping a few at a time. I think there's about 230 pages to this. And this is Dong Ho Kim's second book. So this one, as we know, is a character design one. And you may already be familiar with this is his book one, Space Drawing Perspective, volume one. So basically, this is a Super Annie book, and that one is basically perspective. And it's quite good. It's like this one, where it's relatively basic in its format, uh, in the sense of we have an illustration um, and then some basic text. Uh, I say basic text, and what I mean is, you know, it's not pages and pages of text. It's quite easy to break down and understand. So for me, I say in a lot of my videos that I need things to be simplified. I need, you know, like this, I don't need too much on a page. I like to keep it simple, focus on one thing, not be overwhelmed by text. You know, in comparison, something like maybe an Andrew Loomis book. Uh, I really like Andrew Loomis, but I do find the, the text side of it a little bit confusing and overwhelming sometimes. And even without actually translating this on camera, I think you can sort of see the, you know, the, the principles here of, like a lot of art books, breaking things down into the basics, um, you know, concentrating on simplifying things. I noticed when I glanced through before, there's a lot about, you know, 3D shapes, um, learning, well, I guess that's still perspective, but breaking things down, learning how to draw it in 3D. So that kind of reminds me of like a, you know, a Tom Fox draws book. You can see the examples on the front here, um, how we break down mannequins, cross contours and things like that. But I'm sure we'll see lots of that throughout the book. So it's basically it's kind of concentrating, at least at the moment, on, on construction. So one thing I will know is it looks like the proportions used for the, the starting point are very similar to the Andrew Loomis one, um, which I think a lot of you guys will be familiar with. So we can see here, like eight heads per body, halfway point just below the crotch, you know, things like that. As mentioned, the book is obviously in Korean. But, you know, you can use your phone to translate the app if you need. But one of the good things about this book is, to be honest, you can kind of study it, a lot of it, without actually needing to translate it. So if we stick on this page for a second as an example, we've got two heads down is not the bottom of the peck. It is, in fact, the nipple line, and the peck goes lower than this. So it's laid out quite simple. This is what I was meaning earlier. Um, pretty easy to understand without the need to actually translate. But, yeah, obviously, if you want to translate it, you're going to get more from it. I'm not saying I wouldn't prefer it to be in English, but I think it's still a really good book. Uh, I'd been after it for a while, but the fact it's Korean made it so it wasn't priority to me. Here's a cool example, by the way. We're obviously onto the chapter here where we're playing around with different proportions. We can see we've got um, 10 heads there in height, just to give a comparison. So I think this one's going to be really cool. It's not just learning anatomy, but it's, you know, learning how to exaggerate the anatomy or how to change it and create characters and I guess that's the goal of this book but yeah the guys over at K-Zone Studio actually sent me this one and I wanted to point that out because this book is really cheap on their website I'll put links in the description box below uh, to the website but this book is actually pretty cheap and they do offer worldwide shipping the shipping is very very fast I'm over in the UK but it got here within a few days but I also got the Rocky Kim's anatomy drawing class along with the line drawing techniques to accompany that book. I got both of these, or all three of those, from the K-Zone Studio website. So a massive shout out to them. Definitely check them out because those other books are really good as well. I'll put links in the description 
um, to the videos that I made on those as well and anything that's sort of similar to this that I think you guys will like. This is the kind of stuff I'm looking for, the cross contours, the shapes of the body, the perspective, you know, things like that. So we're coming up to the end of the book now. I have retranslated the last two chapter titles and the information on the upcoming pages that we're about to see, the contents page. So for example, chapter four actually said, in everyday drawings, let's become skilled in expressing muscles. He's written, I spend more than an hour a day doodling with a wood or stone pen, just as a singer breaks his neck by practicing his voice. I also break my hand through doodling. I try to empty my mind as much as possible and draw comfortably. While doing this, I try to match the shape and location of the muscles I studied as much as possible. As you draw, you can feel your skills improving even without realizing. Let's take a look at the positions of the muscles by looking at the pictures I drew. So I'm kind of taking that as it's taking the information that we've learned throughout the rest of the book to create more finalized figures and character designs, playing around with proportions and all things like that. So it's pretty cool. And then there's like, I don't know, 20, 30 pages at the end for chapter five, which we have here. And this one, again, I wasn't too sure of the translation of this because I haven't spent time properly, but it came out as character direction, set up a real life character. Just show a few pages of that quickly. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you found this video useful if you were considering buying the book. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll put links and everything below the video. Thanks for watching, everyone.